I've been asked by my friends at Against Breast Cancer to do some recipe videos and I am absolutely delighted to support this wonderful charity. The money that they raise goes into research. At the moment that research is into secondary spread, which is the most likely cause of death to anybody that has breast cancer. They're also ultimately hoping to be able to find some kind of vaccine. So they really are an amazing charity. If you'd like to make a donation, you can text the word CUPCAKES to 70085 for a £5 donation. The recipe that I'm going to share with you now is one of my absolute favourites. There is only so much cake that anybody can eat. Never thought I'd hear myself say that. Um, so I'd like to share with you uh, a recipe for granola. This granola is so good, it makes me want to open a bed and breakfast just so I can watch people's faces when they eat it. It's an absolute staple, make it regularly, and uh, it is the kind of thing that if you've got people coming to stay in the future, uh, if you can just whip out a jar of homemade granola, what an absolute hero you'll be. So, I've had to, because I normally just kind of bung it all in, I've had to measure out all of the ingredients. I've done it first, I've learnt my lesson. Um, I did a video for my friend Claire recently, and uh, yeah, there was a lot of it of me struggling to get flour out of a bag. You don't want to see that. So here is the most amazing butterscotch granola. You need 200 and 80 grams of jumbo rolled oats. And to that, you'll add 40 grams of pecan nuts. Now I have to admit, I probably normally put more than 40 grams of pecan nuts in this, but I've eaten the rest of them. So today we have 40 grams of pecan nuts. 65 grams of slithered almonds. Now these ones are untoasted because we're going to roast it in the oven. You don't want the toasted ones because they'll just be too well cooked. So untoasted slithered almonds. Sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds. I normally just kind of put a big wadgy handful in. So I have measured this for you. And that is 30 grams of sunflower seeds, 30 grams of pumpkin seeds. Depending on how much you like cinnamon, I normally put a teaspoon of ground cinnamon in here. Then two tablespoons of brown sugar. I'm just using soft brown sugar. and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. So that's all your dried stuff in there. Give that a little bit of a mix round. Get the lumps out of the brown sugar if there are any in there. And then you put the wet ingredients in. So I've got 55 ml of rapeseed oil. It's a really nice um, oil to use in baking. It doesn't have a lot of flavour, but if you wanted to use something like coconut oil or any nut oils, you could do that. Now, this is the secret weapon. This is Tate and Lyle's uh, butterscotch dessert syrup. Now, you could do this and do exactly the same thing with maple syrup. Um, I came up with this recipe because I didn't have any maple syrup and I didn't have half the things for a recipe for granola and I'm so pleased I did because this is just so good. So it's half of one of these, there's 325 grams in this, 
so that's um, about 160 just over so give that a really good squidge in half and then just mix all this up you want to try and get everything coated um, and then that way when it roasts everything is just going to have that lovely flavour over all of it I did think this was quite indulgent when I first came up with this but I actually um, did a spreadsheet oh I do love a spreadsheet um, and costed it all out and for I mean depending on where you shop um, and the brands you buy weight for weight this worked out about half the cost of a of a sort of top end fancy granola and you know there aren't anything there isn't anything in this that um, any preservatives or anything like that so there we go that is that's all that it takes now this needs to go into a preheated oven about 160 and bake for 30 minutes you're going to need to stir that twice during cooking so set a timer for 10 minutes 20 minutes and then the 30 when it comes out so i'm just going to spread this onto a, a baking tray just with a bit of um, normal baking parchment on it Fantastic already. Just spread that over. Like I say, pop it in the oven for thirty minutes, stir it after ten, and then again at twenty. come back and show you the rest of it when that's baked so we're back this is completely cool now so we need to add the fruit I'm gonna put it back into a large bowl and then add the fruit in you need 250 grams of dried fruit I like this mix of raisins and cranberries from Aldi. It tastes great and it's really good value. So pop that in and then stir everything up together. And then just pop it into a couple of Kilner jars. Uh, one litre one like that it's going to fill almost two uh, and then just look forward to breakfast if you'd like to donate you can text cupcakes to 70085 and all of the money goes straight to against breast cancer thank you